Hi there, my name's Carolyn Dunn and I'm a Dot Mandala artist and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. And today we are on the hunt for the missing dot. Have you ever watched a YouTube video where a Dot Mandala artist has forgotten to put in a dot and then you're totally obsessed with it throughout the whole video? This is that video. Trust me, I do eventually find the missing dot, but not until I had put on two coats of varnish. Ugh. So enjoy hunting for the forgotten dot. I base painted this in steel gray. So our color palette today includes Golden's Titanium White, Deco Art Americana's Desert Turquoise, Indian Turquoise, Mississippi Mud, Fawn, Des Desert Sand, Zinc, Slate Gray, Worn Penny in the Dazzling Metallics, Shimmering Silver, and Teal. Okay, let's get that center dot in. Okay, using the large end of the white tool, we're going to take these dots all the way around. All right, and now we're going in with the desert turquoise. And we're using the large end of the blue tool. Okay, now we're gonna create some swooshes using the large end of the blue tool and dragging down with the pink tool in Mississippi mud. Now let's walk some tiny white dots down those swooshes. Now let's create a circle around this um, center part. We'll use uh, the zinc paint and we will top dot that later. Um, and we'll go in with the large end of the white tool. So you want to be one line away from that. So you're not right on the tip of it, but leave yourself just a little bit of space and then create this beautiful circle around it. Okay, so I want to add something to that center section and using the fawn colored paint and we'll use the pink tool with the small end to put tiny little fawn dots in between the swooshes. So now we're going to create some swooshes in the desert turquoise and we're using the large end of the blue tool to load that paint and then the small end to draw that swoosh down. And we'll do this on every other line. For our next swoosh, I'm mixing some of the Indian turquoise with desert turquoise to give me that in-between color. And I'll be using the large end of the blue tool the same and dragging it down with the small end. And with each swoosh, we'll start just a little bit lower. And now we'll be using the straight Indian turquoise paint as we ombre down. And again, the large end of the blue tool and drag it down with the small end. And now I've mixed a little bit of the Indian turquoise in with the titanium white to lighten that color for the last time. 
And again, the large end of the blue tool, drag it down with the small end, and look at those beautiful swooshes. And we're going to do this all the way around. Now we're going to create those same swooshes, only they're going to be in the opposite direction and we're going to start with the lightest color and work towards the darkest color. And again we're using the large end of the blue tool and, and dragging it down with the small end. And our first color here is the titanium white lightened with desert turquoise. These next swooshes will be in Indian Turquoise. And we want the bottom of these swooshes to all line up on the line um, at the bottom. So looking back, we remember that this color will be Indian turquoise and desert turquoise mixed together just to give us that difference in the colors. And now our final swoosh, which is in Desert Turquoise. Now we're going to put some titanium white dots in between the swooshes using the number 8 tool. Well I like that so let's do that again in between those other swooshes. Okay, now we're going to create a circle of dots around that pattern in the middle using the number 9 tool and the zinc colored paint. Okay, now let's come in with the fawn paint and place fawn dots on either side of the white dot using the large end of the white tool. Now, it's best to let that paint dry on your round of zinc, but uh, I'm going to try here to go in and top dot those zinc dots, the smaller ones, using the large end of the pink tool and the slate gray paint. Wish me luck. Woohoo! I did it! Okay, now we're going to go in with some desert turquoise. We're going to make some dots around here, the base of our flowers. We're going to use the number 18. And going in on every other line. We're going to walk our dots in browns. Maybe we'll work from light to dark, which means we're going to start with desert sand. Let's start with the pink tool and we'll make that first dot. Let's make it up around there at that line. Okay. Give it a bit of a peek right off the hop. And we'll walk those dots down with the large end of the tool. Mm -hmm. 
Next will be fawn and the large end of the white tool. Okay, so there's a little bit of a blue spot there and I'm just painting it out with the base paint, the gray base paint, and then we'll be able to move on with walking the dots. We'll come back and get that when it's dry. I think we'll walk them down with the large end as well. And now on to the Mississippi mud with the large end of the blue tool. And we'll walk the dots with the large end and the small end of the blue tool. And all the way around. Alrighty then, now we're going in with the number 12 dotting tool and the desert turquoise paint. So these are smaller dots than the flower dots and they're going to go in between those dots. The blue tool a white dot above it. That's right, we had a bit of an issue there. So while we're waiting for that to dry so I can recoat it again, I'm going in with some silver from Dazzling Metallics on these. dark gray dots. Okay, so we have those dots back in and now we're using the small end of the pink tool to drag some swipes in desert sand. After the desert sand swipes, I put in some swipes in the color fawn and now we're going to move on to put on some swipes in Mississippi mud using the large end of the pink tool. Let's place some zinc dots now using the number five tool. We're going to do some top dots now in the Indian turquoise on those desert turquoise dots using the number 11 tool for the larger dots and the number 7 for the smaller ones. While we're top dotting, let's go in with the worn penny and top dot those white dots. We'll use the number 5 tool for this. Now let's switch to the number four tool and we're going to place three copper dots or three worn penny dots um, just above the white dot. Okay, using the number 22 we've placed uh, Mississippi mud dots and now we've lightened up some of the Indian turquoise and we are walking some dots down the side of these flowers. This piece really reminds me of being in Arizona or the Four Corners. It really, the colors just remind me of that. My husband and I, after I retired, took a seven week trip in a motorhome down across Canada and through the States. And uh, it was fabulous. Yeah, this has a nice calming feel, this piece. 
Moving on to the Indian turquoise, large end of the white tool. Yeah, let's go around and get all those on. color is desert turquoise and white. And like magic, the third row of dots is done. And now we're going to go in with the desert turquoise and create some swooshes around those flowers. And now using the large end of the blue tool, we're going to walk some shimmering silver dots part way down these flowers. Now I'm sketching in some shapes. I'm not really sure where I'm going, but I want to give it um, sort of an Aztec feel. So let's see where we go. Now I've got my shapes sketched in and I'm just going in now with the worn penny. I'm using the blue tool, you can use whatever, to fill in the shapes. Okay, so I got up in the middle of the night and uh, did some painting and forgot to film. This is basically what I added in. I really feel like this has sort of a southwestern vibes, Arizona. I just wanted to add an element in that reminds me of it. I added in the copper here first and basically I just drew these in. I drew them in freehand and <laughs> you can probably tell. I did the copper first. And then I added in the Indian turquoise and then the desert turquoise dots on top of them. So using the large end of the green tool, we're going to walk some Mississippi mud dots. And we're all the way around again. 16 would work nicely. Now we're going to create some large white swooshes. We'll start with the number 12 tool and create a dot and then we'll use a smaller tool to drag that dot down. You never know how something's going to turn out unless you try it. Using the number 11 tool, we're going to create a round of zinc dots. Every once in a while, you want to step back and have a little bit of a look and make sure that your circle is a circle. Okay, now we're going to create dots using the number 19 tool in desert turquoise and we'll place these dots on every other line. There we go. Okay, we're starting off with the desert sand for our first round of dots using the large end of the dotting tool to make our first dot.
Now, what I was going to do is then take the blue tool and let's put in our fond dot. And then let's take our green tool and put in our Mississippi mud dot. Okay, so now we can see how far we're coming out with that and we can keep ourselves consistent. And now we'll walk the desert sand dots. And now using the large end of the blue tool, the fawn dots. green tool and we're gonna continue with our dots only in Mississippi mud. Here we are all the way around. All the way around. That's us. We're the all the way around crew. Using the number 14 tool we're gonna put in some smaller desert turquoise dots. the blue tool for that large end of the blue tool using the small end of the pink tool we're going to create our desert sand swooshes Same tool with the fawn paint. You guessed it, we're going in with Mississippi mud. And again, we'll be using the, the pink tool, the large end of the pink tool. Using the number 10 tool, we're placing some fawn top dots over top of the Mississippi Mutt dots there. Okay, so now we're gonna top dot those zinc dots with the shimmering silver using the number five dotting tool.
While off camera, I painted the rim of this piece. I used titanium white paint and I used the large end of the green tool. And I started in the center above the small turquoise flowers and walked the dots down to the next flower all the way around. Now, using the small end of the yellow tool, we're adding tiny copper top dots to the zinc dots at the base of those small turquoise flowers. Okay, time to do our last top dots in Indian turquoise. I say last, but I don't know that I mean it. <laughs> 12 for the big ones. Okay, that's all of the ones in the number 12. Number seven. And we're all the way around. Okay, I'm pulling out a new color and it is the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Teal. To top dot these guys. Using the number eight dotting tool for these big guys. And that is exactly what was needed. Yep, might as well top dot these guys. And we'll use the number five tool for these little guys. And using the number five tool, we're gonna to place a dot on either side of the copper on the Indian turquoise shapes. Okay. I 
think that's it, my friends. I think we'll call that done. We'll let it dry and then we will, you know, varnish it. Okay, it's time to remove those chalk lines. Everything's dry enough now and I think we've done most of the top shots. We'll know after we take off the chalk lines. Just use a damp microfiber cloth and wipe those chalk lines away. Touch up there, we've got a tiny blue dot there. That should be gray. <laughs> and again, always make sure up through your flowers and the petals because they're easy to miss. I think it looks pretty good. Just wait for it to dry and make sure we haven't missed any, especially on this gray, it's kind of hard to tell. The black, you know for sure. Now, where was that blue dot? Right there. Okay. All right, happy day. It's time to varnish. I have already put one coat on, so I thought I'd share with you the process. I use Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. Love it. I wouldn't use anything different. I've got my three inch high density foam brush which I find the high density brushes are hard to come by. Some will say it's high density and it's really not. And I really like this, the stiffness of it. So we'll start by pouring some along the edges here. And I always, as you know, like to get the edges done first. I'm not a skimper. <laughs> I like to get enough on there. I find that if you put too little on, it just leaves streaks. So this is what I have found works. And then once I'm all the way around the edges, I do the rim. And then we will check on the rim every time we run some varnish over the edge because, or run some varnish from one side to the other because sometimes it will slough over. Slough, it's a word, isn't it? And get the middle section going here. Okay, now I have paper towel because as I draw the varnish across, any excess goes onto the paper towel. And then I'll go back and check because if you could see here, there's lots of drips coming down and I wanna get them first from the edge and then I'll just brush them out. I just don't want any getting underneath because it can make a mess of something that you've already varnished. Okay. All right, my friends, we're back. I have two coats of varnish on this. And as I was going through some of my video clips and I sort of, I, I make a chart on everything that I've done in my little Excel spreadsheet, because that's who I am. I'm a spreadsheet girl. Anyhow, as I was going through it, I watched the video and saw that I missed a dot right there. And I thought, oh, surely I'll find it at some point. Well, I did find it, but after two coats of varnish. So I feel a little silly about that. And I often wonder, I've watched other artists who miss something and it just eats at me all the way through the video. So <laughs> hoping that they'll find it. So here we are and I am gonna add a dot and then we're gonna give it some more varnish. So it was with the large end of the white tool. 
and we're going in right there. There we go. And now it's in. Now I'm going to have to wait for that paint to dry um, until I can varnish it again. But, oh, I feel so silly about that. But at least we found it. Okay, so that's where we're at. And uh, we'll let that dry and we'll give it another coat of varnish. Okay, well, we finally got the forgotten dot on. Can you tell which one it is? It's that one. So we're ready to go in with another coat of varnish and we're just going to start here. And the forgotten dot has been found and varnished. And now I present to you the Forgotten Dot Lazy Susan. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey again, and I hope you'll join me with the next one. Please consider liking, subscribing, and even commenting. I'd love it. Thank you so much.